اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على نبي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجه الكريم وعلى آله في كل لمحة ونفس بعد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما أغلق والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق والهادي إلى سراتك المستقيم وعلى آله حق قدره ومقداره العظيم نوين الأربعين نوين الاحتكاف نوين الخلوة نوين العزلة نوين الرياضة نوين السلوك نوين الصيام الله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد من الذي أولياء الله عينون بعون الله وكون عون لنا بالله صحبه فضل الله من السلطان أولياء سيد شعب الله فأجد غستان السلطان سيد شيخ محمد نازم عادل حقاني من السلطان أولياء من الذي يا سيدي يا شيخ محمد عادل الرباني رجال الله أعينون بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله عسى نحظى بفضل الله 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 عزيز الله 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 كريم الله 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 سبحان الله 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 سلطان الله أبدي سلطان أزل سلطان الله لا إله إلا الله الحمد لله الله سبحانه وتعالى granting us to be living in this holy month of رجب المرجب أشهر الحرم and granting us the tawfiq to say لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله and granting us to be connected to his awliya, awliya Allah, alladhina la khawfun alayhim wa lahum yahzanun, alladhina amanu wa kanu yattaqun. Ni'ma upon ni'ma, oceans of favors upon oceans of favors. Uh, we're, when you think about it, you are stunned by the ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has granted us. And tonight uh, we are given success to sit with uh, our Shaykh's permission to make dhikr and to praise Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa And we are coming upon a, one of the greatest events in the history of Islam and Muslims. An event that Ulama throughout the ages and Mufassirin and Muhaddithin talked about its uh, realities and its meanings and its secrets. And uh, you can, if millions and millions of Ulama for thousands and thousands of years continue to talk about this, oceans of knowledge will not end. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showcased his prophet's status and greatness on Isra and Mi'raj. In the most difficult time that Prophet Sallallahu was, was experiencing in Mecca from the unbelievers, when uh, right after the embargo where the Muslims were going hungry, and right after Sayyida Khadija passed away and her, his uncle passed away, and then he goes to Ta'if to call them to Islam and they abuse him and, and beat him. It is said that it was the 11th year, but there is difference of opinion on the exact timing of this happening. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took his Habib, his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on a holy night. The 27th is the mashhur of that night, that it is the 27th of Rajab. And there's also difference of opinion upon that. But that's what throughout the ages Muslims have practiced, is, most Muslims is the 27th. And he took him on the night journey. 
He took him from three angels in, in some Sahih Hadith, came to Prophet Sallallahu woke him up, some say in the bay, in the house of Umm Muhani, some say, some of the Hadith say at the Rukn uh, by Kaaba. But they took him, they laid him down. It was the second time they do open heart surgery on Prophet Sallallahu heavenly open heart surgery. Before now, they, now the doctors can take the heart and plug you on machines. Prophet Sallallahu had angelic, greatest angel, the chief of angels, come on this night and lay him open, open, open his chest, take his heart, wash it with the water of Zamzam, then put it back and fill it with Iman and wisdom. Then they took him, and I'm just summarizing the uh, Ahdath according to Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Then, then they brought him Al-Buraq. And Al-Buraq is mentioned in Sahih al-Hadith also. Uh, but there is a Hadith about Al-Buraq when he hesitated to allow Prophet Sallallahu to ride him, that Sayyidina Jibreel said, Uthbut, stand firm. And he swears by Allah that there isn't a, 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 a creation dearer to Allah than the one who is about to ride you. Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Mawlana Shaykh Nazim, Allah, I, I watched a video of his today where I think this was maybe in 2013 where his, he was having a hard time standing. But he was talking about Prophet and he put his hand and he pushed himself when he was talking about him, wanting to stand up. And he said there are countless angels standing for his honor, for, for the honor of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This happening if anyone doubts that Prophet ﷺ is not like us, that he has a Basharia, but his, his reality, no one can understand. No one can imagine the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad ﷺ. Only his Lord knows his reality. Even the chief of angels, in this night, Allah showed that the, that the rank of Sayyidina Jibreel is does not come close to the rank of Sayyidina Muhammad Because when they reached the farthest low tree, above all the heavens, Sayyidina Jibreel stopped and said, I cannot move an iota, I cannot move any further. This is my limit. And Prophet said to him, that's what a friend does to his friend. Now you're going to uh, leave me? And Sayyidina Jibreel says, if I move one iota, لو اقتربت, احترقت. I will be disintegrated. I will cease to be. Because that's, that's not my place to go. And he told Prophet Sallallahu if you move forward, you will penetrate. You will draw nearer. Showing the rank of Prophet Sallallahu above the rank of the chief of angels. And, and in Jerusalem, when Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi wa Sahbihi wa Sallam, when he went to Baytul Maqdis and Sayyidina Jibreel brought him in with 124,000 Nabi and Rasul standing, welcoming Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa Sallam. In their, how were, how were they there for those people that always like to take away something from the status of Sayyidina Muhammad. They don't want to, to, to believe that their Prophet is magnificent beyond description, beyond imagination. They don't want to believe that. Why? Because I don't, we don't understand why. If your Prophet Sallallahu for whose sake you are granted such honor to be from his Ummah, if, if his greatness amongst all creation is the highest, what does that diminish? If Allah gave him to go with his full body and being to, to be where there is no place, to a place where there is no place, 
where there is no time. What is, what is the issue? Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 124,000 Nabi stood behind him and he was their Imam. Salawat Rabbi wa salamu alayhi. Imam al Anbiya. As he said in one hadith, that on Judgment Day, and I am the Imam of 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 the Imam the Imam of the Imam of the Imam of and Allah showing again the rank of his Habib. Salawatu Rabbi wa salamu alayhi. This is our Nabi. We should be happy. This is not a story of Isra and Mi'raj. This is the history of Isra and Mi'raj. This is the time where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took his Habib and brought him to a place no one understands or imagines. In a nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no one knows. He saw his Lord on that night. And he gave him, he gave him our sila, he gave him our mi'raj, a gift to the ummah of Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah gave him the gift, the means for us to be able to ascend. And that is the salah. As-salatu mi'raj al-mu'min, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said. The prayer is the means of ascension for the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look what he gave us. There's, we can spend five hours talking about this and it won't be enough. So I'm summarizing some of, of, of those happenings. But inshallah, next week and on the 27th of uh, Rajab, the night of the 27th is actually the 27th of February. Inshallah, we will also speak further. But we should, we should take heed. We should study this happening. We should, we should read the books of hadith about it. We should understand from the mashayikh the intricacies and the secrets and the realities behind these happenings. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us. Allah showed him on that night heavens. What's in heavens? Showed him hells, showed him above heavens, showed him what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to see him. The unseen, what we know of the unseen, we know from Al Masul. He saw, he went with his physical being, he traversed the known and the unknown worlds. Salawatu Rabbi wa salamu alayhi. He is a Sadiq, he is Al Ameen. Salawatu Rabbi wa salamu alayhi. No one can, can, can come close to the rank of Sayyidina Muhammad. And this night of Isra and Mi'raj is exactly showcasing for us Muslims and for the world at large that who, something about the status of that Habib, about the grandeur of that Habib, about the magnificence of that Habib. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us to know more about his adama, more know, know more about his beauty, about his majesty, about his greatness, about his reality, so that we will grow in love and appreciation of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu so that we become enamored and, and in love with that Habib Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa min Allahi tawfiq bi hurmati al-Habib, hurmati al-Fatiha.